Hello, today I'm going to show you the experiment for determining specific heat capacity of a metal using method of mixtures. So, by method of mixtures, I mean mixing a hot object and a cold object. So, our hot object is going to be a metal cube that I'm going to choose from this box. Uh, we have copper, brass, iron, lead and aluminum. I'm going to go with copper today. And first of all, I'm going to need the mass of my copper cube which is 72.5 grams. Now, to heat that up, I'm gonna use hot water. And simply leave the metal in there for about five minutes of time. By that, uh, we are giving the metal a, a warm environment to heat up in, so there's heat exchange taking place between the metal and this hot water right now. So by the end of five minutes, we are going to take the temperature of this water and assume that is the same as the temperature of the metal. Now, while we wait for that, let's work on the rest of our experiment. We are going to use cold water as our cold object, but first I'm going to need to measure its mass. So this styrofoam cup is where I'm going to mix them. So first I'm going to put it up and zero it so I don't have to subtract the mass of the water. And I'm going to add some random amount of water just to be able to mix with my metal. So the mass of water only is 104.3 grams. Okay, so it's been four and a half minutes. So let's measure the temperature of the metal. It's about 68 degrees. And the cold water is 12. So I have 68 as the initial temperature of my metal and 12 degrees as the initial temperature of my water. So what I'm gonna do now is that assume that this is we've done more than five minutes so I can stop the timer. What I'm gonna do is very quickly move the metal transfer it into the cold water. I have to do this very quickly so that it doesn't lose heat energy to the environment. It will, but I wanna minimize it, so I'm gonna do this very quickly. And as soon as I do that, we're gonna watch what happens on the temperature of the mixture. So here we go. Okay, now that I mixed them together, we're gonna watch and see what happens to their final temperature. I'm gonna stir for a while as I do that because I want the heat energy to spread evenly across. So right now, this mixture is a mixture of, of hot, hot metal and cold water basically. So the, the, heat, the heat energy is being exchanged between the two. And as I stir, I make sure that it, that's evenly distributed between them. So let's see what the final temperature is. And that is 15 degrees. Time to calculate.